Hello gin lovers and welcome back to No Nonsense Gin Reviews with me, Bobby Freeman. Now then, what is that fellow doing on my channel, I hear you ask? Because my regular viewers and my subscribers will know, this little fellow is my arch nemesis. Uh, what is that? That's a little bit strong to be honest, it's not my nemesis, but I don't like it. I never have liked it and historically I've given it a damn good thrashing on this channel. However, one of my subscribers has got in touch, whose name is Lil G96, who I imagine to be uh, kind of a, uh, some sort of superstar rapper with a name like that. My name is Lil G and I wanna tell thee, watching gin reviews on my Windows PC. Now then, Lil G96 has said that the only way they can enjoy uh, Bombay Sapphire is with lemonade. Now, I, uh, now, this is the American lemonade, so not what, what we call lemonade in this country, in the UK, is basically that generic Sprite, uh, fizzy kind of sweet soda. Uh, the American lemonade, if you're not familiar with it, is kind of cloudy and still and very lemony, obviously. So I couldn't get the, I know Lil G96, you said you use Minute Maid lemonade, but we can't really get that over here. I couldn't find it anyway. So I've got like a generic version from our supermarkets, which hopefully will be just as good. And I thought while we're at it, we might as well try a few mixes as well. So the uh, American style lemonade will be the crescendo of this video but we're going to try a few other mixes as well to see if we cannot find a way that I can enjoy the Bombay Sapphire. So here we go, Bombay Sapphire mixer number one. So first on the list today is going to be soda water or club sober, soda, sparkling water, whatever you want to call it. Now I picked this one first because I think this is going to be the worst out of any of them because I don't like, so I've tried gin uh, with soda water. In fact, I don't like anything with soda water, not even on its own. I find it a very unpleasant sort of metallic-y sort of taste. So I, oh God, I'm just reminded of the vile smell of the uh, Bombay Sapphire. Never mind, get her in the glass. Right then. So yeah, I don't think this is going to be particularly successful, but we might as well give it a go because you never know, do you? So Bombay Sapphire with soda water, sparkling water, club soda, whatever you want to call it. Cheers. Mm. <coughs> oh God, yeah, just as I thought. That's disgusting. That's not doing anything for the gym whatsoever. It's just... Ugh kind of waters it down, which I suppose is a good thing because I don't, I don't like the taste anyway, but I, that's not going to be, I don't think anyone's going to be enjoying uh, gin and soda. G&T, fine, G&S, uh -uh, not for me. So, number one, I'm uh, so the, the number one is the soda and I'm not happy with it. I still don't like the Bombay Sapphire. Bombay Mixer number two. Okay, number two on the list is what we would call lemonade in the UK, which is this generic sort of lemon flavoured fizzy soda or Sprite, if you like. This is just like a uh, sort of cheap supermarket version. So let's get the gin in first, shall we? Bit of gin in there. Beautiful. I need to put a bit less in this time, I think. Tiny little spot of British lemonade. Right then, British style lemonade with Bombay Sapphire. Cheers. Oh, ugh, oh God, that, oh, that's horrible. Maybe it's because it's cheap lemonade, I don't know, but that's, that's, that's really disgusting. That's worse, again, I'd say that's worse than when I drink it with a tonic. It's just super sickly sweet, all that unpleasantness of the Bombay in there, but it's just this, oh God, this really, I thought the sugariness and the sweetness might help it out a bit, but it's doing no favours whatsoever. So we are still, I'm still not happy with that one. That's not improved anything. So British style lemonade is also a fail and I do not, I still remain um, very, uh, 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 what's the word, very uh, unimpressed with the uh, Bombay Sapphire. Bombay mixer number three. So next on the list is cola. Now this is a bit of a curveball because again, I don't think it's gonna be very nice. We tried it in my mixer, generic sort of mixer video a few uh, weeks ago and it was very, very unpleasant. But we're gonna try it anyway, you never know. You never, never know. So whack a bit of Bombay in there. Beautiful, that's gonna be quite a strong one. So Bombay Sapphire with cola, cheers. Smells really weird. That, I think, I think that's the worst one yet. I think that is the worst. I think that's even worse than the soda. That is absolutely disgusting. It tastes like shit, not to put too fine a point on it. Um, it's strange really because I actually tried some vodka and Coke the other day at my friend's house. And I don't often drink vodka, but it, and it was really nice. I really enjoyed it. Sorry, vodka and cola, sorry, generic cola. I don't want to get into trouble. Um, uh, but, but that, it's just, it's its utterly disgusting. It's putrefying, absolutely revolting. So I am still not happy. I still remain unimpressed. I don't like Bombay Sapphire. Bombay Mixer, number four. 
Okay, so this is where things are going to get a little more interesting, I think, because this is orange juice or OJ or whatever you want to call it. Now, if you watched my generic mixer uh, uh, video a few weeks ago, you'll know that I actually really enjoy the gin and orange. It's quite a kind of a, a retro drink, is gin and orange. Because I remember uh, sort of, I seem to remember old sort of uh, old to middle aged ladies drinking this in the 1980s. So I very, very, I don't think I've ever seen anyone order a gin and orange in this day and age. But I actually loved it. It was a real unexpected surprise so you never know maybe this one uh, is going to be the one which uh, uh, maybe it could be a tie because I've high hopes for Lil G's Lil G 96's suggestion it sounds like it could be nice but who knows we could have a double win so let's get some OJ in there shall we see what that does to the Bombay so Bombay Sapphire with OJ orange juice juice from the orange as they say in France <laughs> uh, cheers You know what? You know what? That's not too bad. That is, oh, I'm getting a slight bit of aftertaste of the Bombay now, but it's not bad. It's a hell of a, it's worlds, worlds better than the uh, previous ones. But that is all right. As I say, I'm getting, especially uh, up the front and kind of the initial, the initial taste of it, very, very nice. You do get that kind of, after it's gone down, you get like a sting in the tail, that kind of chemicaliness, which I haven't like, which I've said before, I don't like about the Bombay. But if I was in a situation where I had to drink Bombay and there was some OJ around, I think I could get away with that. A bit of ice as well. I think that's all right. So I think that is a partial, a partial success. It wouldn't be my drink of choice by any means whatsoever. But of the ones so far. That's not too bad. So let's give that kind of a sort of a halfway success, uh, sort of a, a partial victory. So well done, Orange Juice or OJ. Don't know why I keep saying that. <laughs> Bombay Mixer number five. Okay, here we go, Lil G. This is what you have been waiting for. So, as you can see, this is uh, lemonade. Uh, it's not the Minute Maid one, but I think it's, as I say, the closest thing we are gonna get. So, oh, it smells lovely. It smells very, very nice. So. Get a bit of the Bombay in here. Here we go. Here we go. Let's get a good one. Yeah, that looks good to me. Right, lemonade in there. How much should we do? About that much? Maybe a tiny bit more. So, here we go. The big one. The one that everyone's been waiting for. It is Bombay Sapphire. Oh, let's turn that around. Bombay Sapphire with American style lemonade. Cheers. Holy shit. Wow, Lil G, I if I had my if I had a hat, I would doth it and take my hat off to you because I see exactly exactly why you uh, why you um, made the suggestion. That's that's completely lovely. It it kind of nullifies all the unpleasantness it kind of just it sort of locates the unpleasantness that chemically sort of uh, essence that the Bombay has it kind of just removes it and leaves all the good stuff how the hell is it doing that maybe I maybe it's a bit weak maybe I'll pep the fellow up a little bit shall we let's try it now here we go hang on oh my goodness even when it make it quite strong it removes that essence it's not quite as good. I think it's still nicer. Let's whack a little bit more. I've got to try to play with the balances here, but I think <laughs> that's bloody lovely. That is a nice little drink. Who would have thought it? Not a G and T, not a G and S, a G and L, a G and L, my friends. So thank you, Lil G. That has been an excellent suggestion. This is why I always uh, encourage people to uh, make suggestions like this, because you never know. I never would have thought of trying that. In fact, I was, I was done with the Bombay Sapphire. That's why I've only bought a tiny bottle of it for this video, because I don't want to invest too much in a great big bottle I'm never going to drink. But you know what? I might, especially in the summer, it's, it's really cold here in London at the moment, but in the summer months, sit outside with a glass of that, in the garden, in the sun, and I tell you what, I think you'd feel fantastic. I could quite happily drink that, especially with a load of ice, bit of lemon, sprig of mint in there. Top work, Lil G96. So if anyone else has any weird or crazy suggestions, no matter how uh, sort of out there you think they are, put them in the section below and I shall endeavor to explore them for you, my friends. So guys, 
what a video that was today. I'm really pleased I've done this because it's kind of something a little bit of a break from the norm. And it's kind of, I'm looking to diversify because I've done a lot. I've done a lot of videos which are pretty much the same sort of uh, format and structure. So it's nice to sort of branch out into something a little bit more different and uh, even a little bit more experimental, shall we say? So that's been awesome. Um, if you've enjoyed watching it, then please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and uh, hit the like button and of course the little bell button so you get uh, notified when all my new videos come out. And I will quite literally see you all next time on No Nonsense Gin Reviews. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.